What's something you never thought you'd have to explain to a partner that your partner needed explaining on? No, you can't just disappear for weeks at a time during a long distance relationship. It only works if there's decent communication and it's an incredibly rude thing to do when my second serious boyfriend would just randomly drop off mid conversation and pop up weeks later like it was fine and not getting why I was off. The amount of fully grown men who think periods happen once a calendar month, March, April, May, as opposed to a 28 day cycle, or more, less days depending, has been rather depressing. I once dated a straight white cis man who didn't believe that white privilege or male privilege exist. I attempted to explain what they were but it was clear that his head was too far up his own ass to be willing to listen. We broke up shortly thereafter. That being 24 and dating a 16 year old is inappropriate. Not everything requires a solution. Sometimes I just want them to listen. Nothing more and nothing less, just listen. I go to therapy regularly and I dated a guy who insisted he came with me. He kept asking why he couldn't come and would get mad when I would say no. I was so dumbfounded by this that I didn't even know how to explain why he could not come like all I could say was, are you serious? The car ahead of us on the highway isn't going faster than we are, if it's not getting further away from our car. But he's up there and we're back here so he must be going faster, sigh. To be honest I wouldn't even know how to begin with that lol. Where my hair goes when I make a towel turban after washing it. That I actually like doing laundry and that dirty laundry should go in the basket right away. My wife hates doing laundry and she had this weird system of, a little dirty, kinda dirty, etc. It took a while to train her, I do laundry every week. Put your laundry in the basket. Clean laundry will magically appear in your. I should have brought him with me and left him there. I think he needed it. The a Fairly tame one bet. Grabbing hot things out of the oven, microwave with bare hands then throwing said item on stove, table while yelping and hopping around and was absurd. Oven mitts exist for a. That it's not okay to keep a in a tapes of exes. Okay that was funny. I dislike that as well. I make a point to say to people, do you want a solution or do you want to vent? That he didn't have to ask me for permission to take a long shower, hang out with his own friends regardless of their gender, eat the foods he likes, or go to bed at a different time than I was. His previous relationship was extremely controlling and abusive. He was always terrified I was going to be angry about things I had never even heard of someone being angry about, and confused when I wasn't. Domestic Violence That size was based on the size of a woman's vaginal opening. I was flabbergasted when I had to explain that it was based on a woman's menstrual flow. Unbelievable for a grown man. I just saw a post on TIFU or similar. A guy said, I didn't know that her hair was inside the towel, and I yanked like a would you do that? Relevant scene from Malcolm in the Yeah my ex won't acknowledge he was in the wrong for dating me when I was barely. I had to explain to my ex why bullying was wrong, and that coercing me into a was not the same thing as getting my consent, and was also wrong and selfish. And that stealing my food was wrong, and that breaking people's things was wrong, and that spitting on me was wrong, and that choking me was wrong, and probably more. But that should at least paint a picture of what sort of relationship it was. That it's not okay to show everyone at the bar a photo of me. That you can't just wash your hair and upper torso and ignore the rest because the soap flows down there on its own and that cleans everything. So, object permanence? Lol. Periods end at menopause. This was a brand new fact to my 40-year-old husband. Believe it or not, um, I actually enjoy receiving pleasure too and a is not all about you. Weird, I know. It's also perfectly healthy and not weird or gross to want to try different things but it's totally fine if you want to keep things he had the audacity to say a was too mundane for him when he left lol. If he annoys me earlier in the day, I don't want to be intimate at night. Oh my. Childbirth isn't easy, and is a major medical procedure, the difference between a pad and a a why people date when they don't want to get married, adopted children are no less family than biological children, every woman doesn't have some deep desire to mother, clean, nurture, coddle. Coercion is assault, everyone has differing perspectives for a multitude of reasons, 
That doesn't mean you can't have a conversation with someone because they think, solve problems, believe differently than you, yes, tipping sucks, do it anyway, knowing where the replacement hand soap is, but choosing not to replace the old bottle because you just know I will do it, is taking advantage of me. Just because someone is bisexual, doesn't mean they are also promiscuous, praise kink, you don't have to ask for the ass to be good, some ass is a release some is reconnecting some is just f asterisk and percent ing you should not go from butt to a without cleaning idc what a showed you utis happen often sometimes without any real cause jackhammering in and out of me isn't that great my cervix hurts stop that you still have to ask for consent even when you're dating what feminism actually means they aren't out to get you men they are out to get their fair share that you can't reuse condoms. He was 27 skull skull. That brushing your teeth before bed is pretty important to gum health, heart health, teeth not rotting, etc. Man was convinced once a day was and drinking Sprite in the morning does not replace a good tooth brushing. Bahaha what? How old was he? Actually never mind. I think even my three year old would know and I take it that he was older than that. Wow I've never dated a before sounds exhausting. My ex thought that being sexually harassed in the street was just the same as being politely and respectfully hit on. His way of thinking, they both likely want the same thing in the end, to get me into bed. So what's the difference? Woman face palming upside down face. Even a mega super jumbo is much much smaller than a regular adult so had he never seen a or the core concept of empathy and how it was hurtful that he rarely seemed to have any. A lot of the comments are about compassion, respect or basic human decency. I am in my mid-twenties and I'm just now accepting that those aren't things that need to be or a lot of reasons that people are at partners. Cluelessness is rarely the case. Next, clueless, guy is getting yeeted. Asterisk that most women can't, don't at from PIV that my taking antidepressants had nothing to do with being single. He thought that since our dating I would just stop taking them. Asterisk that his supervisors don't make less than him. They probably get paid bonuses to overbill and that's why they are encouraging him. It's still, even if you're in a relationship. Greater than coercion is assault yet, I think he still doesn't get that. Wait what? Lol what? Did he honestly think hair disappears while drying? Female anatomy. I was always under the impression that was taught in health class because I as a female was taught male anatomy in health class. But the number of men that don't know female anatomy is truly shocking. Sometimes towels are folded a specific way so they fit in their spot. It is not, I can't do anything right. It's literally just taking something and arranging it neatly to fit into a sized location. The same location they've been for the past four years. I have a 21 day cycle. I had an ex insist I was lying about having my period since I already had it once this month. Big yikes. Yep, mine's 24 days and I had to explain that my period does not acknowledge calendar months. This is so heartbreaking. My grandma died tonight. You should have comforted me instead of inviting your twin brother over to play music until 4 a.m. Y'all yeah, we broke up after that. Just cause they are your blood, doesn't mean you have to tolerate their abuse or stay in contact with them. Kids don't just happen to you. You can choose to not have them. We'd been together over a decade by then, married with a kid. He'd been around my parents many, many asterisk times. He asked me why they did so many nice things for us. That day, it was my mom sending us home with his favorite foods. Other times it was my mom learning his favorite things, his clothing, shoe sizes, and getting him, just because, gifts. I said that was how they showed they cared, and that's how they'd always been. It broke my heart tbh. I felt bad about the things I've been through, until I read this post, girl. For my ex, women need to be pregnant to have breast milk. You need to stop asking when someone says no. Jabbing your finger in and out does not feel good. You need to wash your hair. You can't call someone a cum dump when they say no to you. You can't insult someone's intelligence just because I'm smarter than you and you're insecure. His GF before me was the first woman he'd ever slept with. She always peed after a 
but not to stave off a told him that you three are as in there is only one hole, and Peen kills. Thus, it helps prevent Ed when he was in school was lacking. So he believed her. I side-eyed him a bit until he dropped this line. Who am I to argue with a woman about what her body parts look like and what they do? I trust someone with a a to know what vaginas do. That keeping a photos of all his exes is telling me I can't have guy friends because all they want to do is sleep with me but he can remain friends with all his past a buddies as Seuss as beating and strangling me will always make him wrong. 100% of the time. Can you come to my house? Please? I don't mind sticking stuff into the washer or dryer but folding and putting there, I'd rather do needlepoint. 